Hi, this is Brent, and I'm going to show you how to set up ASR XRV in uh, VMware Fusion on the Mac. First thing you want to do is you want to click and add and create a new machine. And we want to make a copy of the existing virtual disk that you've downloaded. Click continue. And we want to customize a few things here. We'll just name this one ASR XRV. XRV. Since I got a couple already, let's do this one as number five. Let's take uh, about a minute or so to copy the disk and get it ready. First, we want to get rid of the sound card because we really don't need it in there. And we want to change the memory to that much and I'm not sure if it's really needed but I've been checking it and uh, well, I haven't had any issues yet so we want to enable the hypervisor and next we want to create some additional interfaces and there we go well, let's uh, make some changes here to the first one. This one is fine. This one here, I want that to be in there. There we go. And we'll do the same for the second one. One of the interfaces is actually going to be used for the console, and I'll go over that shortly here. There we go. Those are all good. We are ready to rock and roll. Okay, now what we want to do is uh, hold your, uh, you want to go to, you'll right click on it, and if you hold on the option, you get this little pop up here that says config editor. You can edit this by hand, it's just the uh, the XRV VMX file, but it's just kind of a shortcut to get to it. Mm -hmm. So then from here, we want to actually copy all this junk here. What this does is without these three here, your interfaces will not show up in the image once it's booted. And this part here is just giving us the access to be able to console in from the Telnet, from one of your terminal programs. Um, <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. There we go, we're good there. Close it off. And we are ready to boot this bad boy up. There we go, there's a good old grub. Once you see this screen, you're not going to see anything more. Um, it is in the process of booting up, so you can actually just minimize this and uh, open up your terminal. And it takes about, uh, at least on my machine here, it takes about five, five minutes or so to boot up completely. Um, but all you'd have to do is tell that to your local host. One, and that port that we set up in this file here and there we go you can change this um, if you have multiple uh, uh, routers you want to definitely change increment that by one or change it to whatever you want to use it what port you want to use so once you do that voila and we'll just sit back and wait uh, for the uh, the rest of the boot messages to come up There we go. It's actually still booting up, so we're just going to give it some time. You have to set up your root system username. Uh, there we go. There we go. Since it's created now, now we can log in. And we should see a uh, complete message here shortly once everything's loaded up. Actually, if you'll do it, one of the interfaces should not be there yet. It's still in the process of loading its configuration. There we go. Once you see that, it is ready to start configuring. So let's uh, get in config mode. 
get into the gig. Let's see if we can ping my laptop. And there we go. So now at least we can ping. And if we do a show run, there's the interfaces. Cool.